here's a little video showing how I can automatically import hypothesis annotations and Twitter threads to Roam using uh, some node scripts triggered by Keyboard Maestro. Uh, unfortunately, this is very hacky right now and not easy to use if you're not comfortable um, doing a little bit of programming, but it um, is useful to me and it shows you what might be possible in the future with better um, plugin support. So I've showed hypothesis again uh, previously. I'll just quickly show it again. I'm uh, just highlighting here some text that I might want to capture. I can also like add uh, some uh, annotations. So for example, like this. And when I'm happy with my annotations here, I press a single keyboard combination. I get this little pop-up and I can just go here and manually paste it in. I get the title of the blog post, I get the URL, I get the text I um, selected, and I also get my own annotation highlighted here. So that was the first capture. Now the second one is uh, the new part, which is that I've started following a lot of interesting people on Twitter lately, partly actually um, due to the wrong community, which seem to be in general very interesting people. And somehow they think that rather than writing blog posts, they should just put hundreds of tweets after each other, which is a little bit crazy, although it's also a little bit interesting how it's similar to how Rome lets you um, break ideas into little pieces that you can then combine in new ways. So either way, um, let's say that I have a, a, a Twitter thread here, and of course there's a ton of interesting stuff here. Uh, he is putting in some images, he is uh, embedding some previous tweets, and um, rather than going through and uh, copying and pasting and stuff, I just want to grab this whole thread and get it into my room. So what I do is I find the last tweet, uh, because the way it works is it, it looks at the parent and it um, unpacks this whole conversation. So I just go to the last tweet and I make sure that's the one that's uh, highlighted in the URL, like clicking on the date because there's no date here that probably means this is the one that's highlighted and then I press exactly the same keyboard combination now this takes a little bit of time here because this is a very long thread and because Twitter doesn't provide any really useful APIs we have to just do a ton of different um, Twitter hits to kind of recursively build up the thread um, hopefully the API limits won't be so here it says we're ready again I can just paste and here um, I've got the Twitter thread, I've got the link back to the thread, I've got the author, the date of the, not today, but the date of the thread. Um, not sure how useful that is, but I'm just experimenting with how to format this. Um, you, you'll see here that I actually also get embedded tweets with full texts, because for me it's more important to have the text that I can search and annotate than uh, having embeds. Um, we get images, um, we also get YouTube videos if there are those, and um, yeah, we can now do all the cool stuff in Chrome that we could otherwise do. Um, so very hacky, but fairly promising, and all of this is on the GitHub that I will link to.